and standing by now to gimbal the main engines. We see the speed brake being cycled here. And now the main engines are gimbling or being moved through their operational latitudes. T minus three minutes. Yellow Cisco for ET, LO2 pressurization. Liquid oxygen tank now being pressurized. Weather officer Ed Proselic just uh, has passed the word that they are now officially green at the pad. Memory and verify no unexpected errors. And the gaseous oxygen vent hood, known as the uh, Gox beanie cap, now being retracted. Copy. Ground launch sequencer will make a check at T minus 37 seconds to make sure that it's in the fully retracted position. Flight crew OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. And looks like the second time with the charm. Have a good flight. Roger that, thank you. And that's complete. CLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. And that was orbiter test conductor Mike Key from Lockheed Martin wishing the crew a good flight. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. Hydrogen tank now at flight pressure. T minus one minute. Ground launch sequencer now verifying the main engines are ready for ignition. Heaters around the joints of the solid rocket boosters are being turned off. The sound suppression water system is being armed. Flight data recorder is now recording. Bill and drain valves on the external tank are closed. Standing by for the handoff to the orbiter's computers. And the handoff has been completed.
40 seconds since launch, Atlantis has already burned more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. Flight controllers are now standing by for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rocket booster first stage. Booster officer confirms a good uh, separation of the twin solid rockets.